produce markets for the southeast of Dominica. Dominica imposes travel bans on Ebola-stricken countries and will bring you scenes from the 18th World Creole Music Festival. Thank you for joining us in another edition of National Focus. I'm Colette Ambo. And I'm Nisha Charles. Stay with us for details of the headline stories and others after this. A lot of bathtubs are blamed for bruises. Some staircases are accused of being responsible for broken bones. Doors are occasionally viewed suspiciously as causing lesions. A high percentage of tables are accused of producing bleeding or trauma. Violence against women is a crime and it's everyone's responsibility. It's inexcusable. If you're a victim or witness of physical or psychological violence or abuse, seek help and denounce the perpetrator. Thanks for staying with us. The Lapland constituency will soon receive their own produce markets with assistance from the Basic Needs Trust Fund. The fund will also cater for the construction of a preschool for Delis. Honorable Parliamentary Representative for the Lapland constituency, Peter Saint Jean, says the introduction of the produce markets for the constituency will make it a lot more manageable for the residents. One of the challenges we've had in Delis for a very long time is that we do not have uh, proper facilities for delivery of early childhood education. Uh, that has been incorporated at the Fort Thomas Dalis Primary School, but we have this, this, this space is inadequate. And under BNTF 6, we are currently doing a facility to house the early childhood program. Uh, that will provide us modern facilities for the delivery of top level top quality early childhood education and I'm elated because as Minister for Education one of the major emphasis within the constituency is that of the, on the delivery of quality education at all levels to my people. Here in La Plaine we are doing again on the BNTF 6 uh, uh, Southeast Market and note it is not a La Plaine market it is a Southeast Market. Uh, so it is expected that this market will serve the entire Southeast community from Grand Fond to Delis. Of course, La Plaine being centrally located, the project is being done in La Plaine, so it can service the entire um, Southeast. This, to my mind, um, will assist the farming community um, and, of course, the tourism facilities in the area because historically, traditionally, these areas have been um, sort of the breadbasket of Dominica, the southeast uh, um, areas. So all in all, we are experiencing tremendous level of support and development within the constituency. The Dalis Preschool will cost $292,000, while the Southeast Produce Markets will cost $233,000. Both projects are expected to be complete by December 2014. Major projects are on the cards for the new council of the Girardel Eggleston Village Council. The newly elected chairman, Roy Ashworth Williams, said at the 16th inaugural meeting of the village council that the council will set to fruition a number of projects to uplift the two communities. Among these projects is the completion of the pavilion playing field in Girardel. The construction of the Zion Avenue at Eglistan. The completion of the St. Paul Road in Eglistan. That is the road leading to the Chairman Home, the um, outgoing Chairman Home. <laughs> the completion of the pavilion or playing field at Girodel. The bus stop close to the Girodel Primary School. We're talking about bus stops. We have a few bus stops to build. One is really at the, close to the Jordan um, Primary School. There's another one we have to build at the, close to the Jordan Plain Field as well. There's one also for Eglistan, since there are funds available for the Shaffler area. And if there's any more, I, I, I didn't mention the people in the areas that need a bus stop, 
We let council know, know about it. He also welcomed the input of the villagers to make the community a better place. We are aware that some of you have brilliant ideas that can guide and develop our community. So we are depending on you for your suggestions. We cannot promise to fulfill everything, but together we can make things happen. The council is not the seven councillors and the chairman. It is the councillors and the residents of Jewel and Eglistan. All of us working together for overall development. We are also hoping to meet the youth, the youth from the communities, both of Eglistan and Jewel. The new councillors are Roy Ashworth Williams, Nathaniel Alexander, Yvonne Daniel, Virginia Girardel, Rohan Williams, Josian Leta, Rosanna Nelson, and Andrina Remy. In more news, the Cabinet has taken the decision to impose travel restrictions in order to lower the chances of the Ebola virus being introduced to Dominica. With immediate effect, a ban has been placed for the next three months on persons traveling to and from Sierra Leone, Guinea, and Liberia, where the transmission of the virus is widespread and sustained. Persons traveling from Sierra Leone, Guinea, and Liberia, or those who have visited any of these countries during a 28-day period, will not be allowed entry into Dominica. Despite the fact that the Pan American Health Organization and the Caribbean Public Health Agency have indicated that there is a low risk of the introduction of the virus to the Caribbean, government has seen the importance of taking measures against the spread of the virus through international travel. The Ebola virus disease, formerly known as the Ebola hemorrhagic fever, is a severe and often fatal virus in humans. Symptoms of the virus include fever, fatigue, muscle pain, headache, sore throat, vomiting, diarrhea, rash, symptoms of impaired kidney and liver function, and in some cases, both internal and external bleeding. The incubation period for the surfacing of symptoms is about 2 to 21 days from infection. Other Caribbean countries such as St. Lucia, Jamaica, Guyana, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic have also imposed travel restrictions on people traveling to and from the Ebola-stricken countries. The Honorable Minister for Trade, Dr. Colin McIntyre, has called on Dominicans and particularly those in agriculture to build the country through taking ownership of their responsibilities. He was speaking at a 2014 market day with a difference at the new Roseau Market. Each of us has the responsibility to manage the things under our control for the common good of society. That responsibility is manifested in how we undertake productive activities in agriculture, tourism, manufacturing, and cultural industries. We have a responsibility to ensure that we do not sacrifice the ability of future generations in meeting their own needs by adopting good agricultural and manufacturing practices. As a government, we have taken the responsibility to secure the livelihoods of our farmers by working aggressively at securing markets and defending our position on regional markets. Government is currently in the process of completing two consultancies in Guadeloupe, Martinique and St. Martin to expand Dominica's export market. In St. Martin, we are responding to challenges encountered by the Huckster trade with the establishment of a trading company and will regularize the trade to that market. Other initiatives are being contemplated in other regional and extra-regional markets. Fellow Dominicans, Dominica is ours to build. This responsibility for building this country started 36 years ago with the attainment of political independence and we have remained committed to that task. Government's recent investment in infrastructural improvement, namely improvement in post-harvest facilities like the multi-purpose park houses, the enactment of the fresh produce legislation and incentives provided for the financial institutions are all government's attempt at building a stronger public-private sector partnership for the further progress and development of this nation. A tour of the Roseau Market was also enjoyed by those present, including His Excellency Charles Savre and Mrs. Savre, and Ministers of Cabinet. 
Market Day with a Difference has become a tradition and is a day when there is a high consumption of produce. The Vekas Primary School is set to bring back tradition to the community this Creole Day. GIS caught up with Jean-Marie Royer, principal of the Vekas Primary School, who provided details of activities planned for that day. We saw it very fitting and important to, again, bring back the whole concept of um, marching and drilling in the, in the streets of Vekas. This was a tradition which was well loved over time, you know, where, again, when the school population was very large, um, in those days you had in excess of 300 persons or students at school and it used to be a very beautiful and wonderful experience where children marched you know, in the streets of Vegas. Um, over time this has disappeared due to the youth rally which um, um, allows for a few persons or a few students to go to Roso or Postmo, wherever the case may be. But now we are thinking that um, as part of the tradition and you know the whole thrust of national development is focusing again on um, bringing back our cultural experiences, our cultural lifestyle. And so we are looking at this year to have an um, a service at the, at, at the church and economical services where we bring all the religious parties together. Royer revealed that Prime Minister Honorable Roosevelt Escarit, a parliamentary representative for the Vegas constituency, will take the salute from the marching students of the primary school. Following this march pass will be an ecumenical service to be held at the Vegas Catholic Church, after which will be a time for playing traditional games at the school rounds. And after that, from 2 o'clock, we'll be having what we call maybe just a show, but it will involve, again, persons from the community. We would have people like um, Lambert Johnson doing a couple from Chubby. We would have a little bit of um, Hill and Two and um, a mix from, you know, the school and the community. So this year, we're really looking forward to refoc refocusing our attention and our direction in the area of education and community development. So we're looking forward to having all the persons on board, parents, well-wishers, people from the neighboring community, that we could come together and really start, you know, uh, re-insurgence as to, uh, well, a re-insurgence to education and community building and involvement. Roy stressed that all of this is in an effort to bring back the tradition of celebrating the Creole culture at the community level. In more news, the Honorable Acting Prime Minister Ambrose George has commended Parliament representative for the Mont Jean Rivier Sari constituency, Ivor Stevenson, for exemplary leadership and delivery to his constituents. Addressing the constituency's 17th inaugural meeting last Thursday, he called for continued support for Stevenson, who he says has shown evidence of great representation. And whilst the Pal Rep, the Honorable Ivor Stevenson, appears to be soft-spoken, you may say that, a man who probably is maybe a little timid in terms of, you know, making his point and coming forward, um, in terms of representation um, to the constituency of Mont John and River Siri. But whenever he takes that opportunity to speak on behalf of the people of the Mont John River Siri constituency, there is absolute silence in the cabinet. Whether it's in the health center, the many roads that have been rehabilitated within the constituency, the water extension projects that he has undertaken, the social programs, whether it's in education, whether it's in health, whether it is to do with the Yes We Care program, transportation for the school children, assistance for education for the school children, even assistance to farmers who are challenged with the receipt of inputs and the purchase of inputs. The Honorable Minister noted, however, that it's not entirely up to government to maintain the livelihood of communities. Every citizen can make a contribution to nation building. While the official report is not yet in on the 18th World Creole Music Festival, from the looks of the crowd turnout and participation, this year's event was well received. A year of preparation has paid off to put on a diverse Creole festival fueled by the energy of a massive crowd. 
The lineup comprised acts like Ajakyo, Triple K International, T Vice, Sukus All Stars, and Asa Banton on a Friday night. On night two, a bumper crowd turned out to move to the rhythms of Jim Rama, Midnight Groovers, Class, Kerwin Dubois, Frankie Vessant, Harry Soudoyan, Dennis Belfon, and Destra Garcia, bringing down the curtains to an epic staging of Dominica's flagship independence event, where Elvis Crespo, Tabu Combo, Ecstasy, and Fanatic. In case you missed it, here are some clips. <laughs>
that means Dominica's 18th staging of its World Creole Music Festival is over until next time. GIS News will bring you the official commentary from the organizers as soon as it becomes available. So, Nisha, do you attend the World Creole Music Festival this year? Yes, I did, Colette. And what were you looking out for particularly? I was looking out for Saturday nights, particularly Dennis Belfon and Destra Garcia. They are my favorite soca acts. And they were mine too. I must say, I really did enjoy Destra's performance. And I hope that the FC will, you know, have her back sometime soon. And what do you think about um, government's decision to remove the flavor ban from the lineup? Well, I think it was a good move by the government because we are trying to not make the Abrula spread or be introduced into Dominica. And it goes well with a recent release that we saw where government had put a ban on three countries, you know, Sierra Leone, Guinea, and Liberia. So that speaks well for the government that they're trying to protect their people from being introduced to this virus. And you know, Dominica is not the only country who took this decision, you know, you have other Caribbean countries who also made this decision, you know, to protect the Caribbean from the introduction of this deadly, fatal <laughs> virus. Um, I know they said that the, the risk is low. The risk is low of it being introduced to the Caribbean. But look at the United States, international travel. You know, people are going everywhere. So it's important to ensure that we are protected. Yes, it is. And that's the English news. Macpherson St. Luce comes up next with the Creole highlights. Hello, tout le monde. Bienvenue à ce nouvel en créole, non moins c'est Macfusson Selos. Premièrement, le gouvernement Dominique qui bâtit en maison administrative en ville Gontens. Parole Salah sorti au acting premier ministre honorable Ambrose George, pendant le contrat ici et puis en compagnie qui en charge pour projet de réhabilitation ville Gontens. Oui, ça, ça aussi c'est un, un, un gros bagage pour le gouvernement parce que ça qui est fait actuellement, uh, on y uh, plus de uh, cases. Là, on est l'office pour le sub-treasury, on est l'office pour le Kong, on tout um, l'office pour le uh, gouvernement, pour le service gouvernement. Donc, so, ça nous a dit, tant à l'arrivée actuellement, là, nous avons un complexe, un complexe à aucun tous ces offices-là à Didaï. Et bien, le Premier ministre a dit aussi, il a voulu voir un complexe en l'office pour le Tong Kong, qui est bien important. Pour, pour, pour service à la à, à, à ville, là, pour à Tong, là, à, 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 à Guantas. Avec peut-être aussi ni en, en office pour, pour non parlement là, euh, non même membre parlement là pour, pour Guantas. So, so là où on vient à un complexe à Guantas, il, il y a ni tout service là dans une seule place. Il n'y a pas pour marcher tout en Guantas pour, pour, pour un um, service gouvernement. Il y a un financial center. On est tous ces ces offices là là. C'est quelque chose comme ça nous qui fait à Guantas pour un pour monde avec visiteurs avec tout le monde à Guantas. Alors nous voulons un projet l'école des enfants catapulté pour en bas national employment program en Delis. Parole ça la sortie au nom pas de mon honorable Peter Saint Jean. Honorable Saint Jean aussi mentionné trois vies à ces plein fil pour communauté cela. Et aussi en délice, nous avons dépensé 292 000 dollars pour faire ça. Nous avons un prix school. Puisque moi, je crois que nous avons pour délivrer l'éducation, la qualité de l'éducation pour tout le peuple nous, dans ces villages-là. Et nous pensons qu'il y a délices derrière. Um, et aussi en Boutique, nous avons des jeunes gens qui sont engagés en um, Yes Weekend et aussi en Cleanup and Beautification en bas du National Employment Programme. Là. En Welma. Et aussi, um, nous avons attendu un low quantum playing field là, en la plaine. Um, il a fait mon plaisir pour déclarer que nous finissons sans nous faire plaisir dans le pavilion. Là. Et actuellement, Zebla a profité belle en la field là. Et tout de suite, par la fin de l'année, là, pour le commencement de l'année, là, jeunes gens, peuple la plaine, que ça servi playing field là. Et nous qui sommes dans gel lion qui a toujours un nom qui nous nous avons très sport en place là, il y a des fermes et des puisque nous qui délivrons, on facilite là tout le monde qui a ni plaisir pour jouer à dame. En d'autres nouvelles, le système de Bells qui a bâti, qui a un service pour la UPAC et puis Sylvania. Parole Salah sorti au officier de relations publiques, compagnie de Wasco, M. Edward Regist. Avec Plita, 
nous qui fait parce que système là même système gloire nous qui fait en manière pour ça aussi pour tuer global c'est venir et vers là ou pas mais ça qui venir tes amis plus tard comme ça nous qui pensons que en année prochaine tout en Dominique Kenny Glow hot system d'Avasco avec gouvernement Dominique qui a pourti un pile d'argent pile d'argent même qui a mis un système gloire et nous pour dire Malgré que le gouvernement a mis tout l'argent, nous ne pouvons pas respecter pour nous trouver l'argent en vie, oui, les gens payent les clous. Parce que si nous pouvons faire ça, nous pouvons respecter peut-être un mille années encore pour ça. Parce que si nous avons payé pour les clous, nous ne pouvons pas jamais arriver à nous dépenser pour mener les clous. Avec les gens qui ont dit que nous avons plein de vie, mais c'est là qu'il y a eu un fond, il y a eu un dalle avec pour acheter de l'eau, mener les moutons dans leur monde, pour pomper, mener les vignes, parce que c'est le cas où ça n'a pas été avec ça, ça a coûté un peu de l'argent. Pour ça, nous ne pouvons pas prendre ça et qu'il y a un pont pour mener de l'eau, parce que nous pouvons traiter de l'eau, nous pouvons faire ça et qu'il n'y a pas de péter, nous pouvons manger, tout ça, tout ça, tout ça, tout ça a coûté de l'argent. Il n'y a pas aisé pour mener le globe dans mon caillou, donc il est bien bon pour nous apprécier le travail et les dépenses que le gouvernement a fait pour faire ce que tout le monde a fait dans le caillou et puis il n'y a pas de connexion avec Damasco. Et puis finalement, l'école première vie casse que tient l'activité de Jounet Kouyol. Parole celle-là, sorti de mettre l'école celle-là, M. Jean-Marie Royer. Après ça, après nous ni déjeuner, nous qui ni on t'y chaud, mais en chaud ça là, nous qui ni différents, moun en village là, ka ka danse, hilanto, kodjuil, on t'y belle, et ve différents t'y activités pour pour jou là ça. Nous 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 qui aussi ni bitin kon tablet, bitin bitin qui nous pas manger, nous pas ka manger tous les jours, mais nous vle moun vivre en juin, c'est qu'à l'été là, parce que c'est bitin ça là, nous qu'à taper qui, yo yo passer la mode, et ben, nous qu'à plus focus à ces bitin modern, mais nous pas ça, oublier routes nous, nous pas ça, oublier culture nous. Mais c'est mesdames, ça c'est tout pour nouvelles en créole pour à présent. Non, moi c'est Mac Fossil Saint Louis. Au revoir. Coming up next, a local treat which will take a years off your face. The Wasco recognizes that clean water is vital to healthy living. Therefore, it spares no effort in providing a clean, safe, and reliable system. Help keep our rivers safe and clean. Do not cut trees along the river banks and do not pollute with garbage, human or animal feces, and chemicals. Think water, think life. Everybody loves a good bowl of pig food sauce, especially during the festive season. Drenched in water seasoned with onions, garlic, peppers, limes and other special ingredients, this dish is a Caribbean means of pickling leftover meats. But did you know how good these leftovers are for your skin? Pig's feet contains the protein collagen, which is responsible for skin and muscle tone. Collagen also helps to retain moisture, which is not only good for protecting against dry skin, but can also help in retaining moisture for healthier looking hair. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website news.gov.dm. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash GIS News Dominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. From all of us here at the News Desk, I'm Nisha Charles. And I'm Colette Ambo. Thanks for watching and join us again next time on National Focus. <music>